what's new in the March update of the Pixel ROM for the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new in the March update of the Pixel ROM for the Xiaomi POCO F1. As you can see right off the bat, the security patch has been updated to March of 5th, 2020. A thing I would like to inform you is that when you install this ROM, make sure you open the Play Store and update all the applications which have updates available. That is how you will get all the new features which have been added. Let us begin with the first feature which has been added and for that we'll go into the safety application. However, make sure that you give access to your location, your contacts for the safety application. So you'll go into settings and then we can go into apps and notifications, search for the personal safety application, go into permissions, make sure it has access to all of these things which you see on your screen. When I opened the safety application for the first time, it did not have access to all these permissions and the app just kept on crashing. So once you have added your information, given access to the permissions for the safety application, you can open the application and then click on the gear icon on the top left and then you will go into car crash detection. Right now for me, it is not available because I do not have a SIM in my POCO F1. And another thing I would like to add is that it is only available in certain countries, list of which can be found in the pinned comment. However, I personally pray that you never have to use this service, but we can always view a demo. So we'll click on try a demo and it does tell us to increase the volume a little bit so that you can hear what is going on and then you will click on start. So there it is. You can see that it detected a crash and now I have two options. Either I can click on I am okay or otherwise say cancel. There it is. So live caption also works. Anyway, so I have two options. Either I can say I am okay or I can call 911. So I'll click on I am okay. And then I'm greeted with three different options. No crash, minor crash, and if you want to call the emergency services. Let's try no crash and there it is. We have ended the demo. If you want to start over, you can click on start over. The next new feature you will find is in settings and then we can go into display. As you can see, you now have a separator bar between dark theme and the toggle. So the toggle can be used to enable or disable dark theme. However, if you tap on dark theme, you can now schedule dark theme. You'll have two options, either none or turn on from sunset to sunrise. So it is kind of disappointing that you cannot schedule for specific times, but it is what it is and something is better than nothing. Next up, if you have updated all your applications, you will now have a new UI when you press and hold power button. So here it is, press and hold the power button, bam. I have the option of adding my Google Pay. All my cards will appear over here. And if I swipe across, from gpay i can see all my cards and if i am at a point wherein i can use my phone to make a payment bam no need to go into the application just press the power button use the cards to pay from then and there also what this means is that your menu for power off restart and screenshot has moved down previously it would appear on the side now it has moved down and another feature which they have added is that you can take a screenshot of your boarding pass and that will also show up in this menu. And of course, Google will read the information from the boarding pass and give you details and notifications about the flight in case it gets delayed or a reminder that say, you are 30 minutes away from your flight. So this is the next new feature which was added in this Pixel 4 ROM build for the POCO F1. And you can now use your Google Assistant, the new UI, even with this three button navigation system. Previously, you had to set up the gesture system to use the new UI. Well, now just press and hold the home button and bam, there it is. We have the new UI for Google Assistant in the building. And as you can see, it works like a boss. Next up, we have effects for Duo. So if you use Google Duo, you can just swipe down, go into effects and it will detect your face and you can use the different effects in 
Google Duo calls if you use Google Duo and we also have the emojis 12.1 update so the new 169 emojis which were added with the emoji 12.1 update which include a pilot a astronaut all those are also available in this build and last but not the least we'll go into settings and then we can go into system we should have a new option called rules here is rules what is rules all you need to do is click on add rule and now you can turn on do not disturb set your phone to silent set your phone to vibrate and set your phone to ring based on either your location or your Wi-Fi network so you know for those of you who go to college go to work wherein you cannot have your phone on ringtone you can always set a rule that once you're connected to your works Wi-Fi or your location is your school or college put the phone into vibration mode a pretty nifty feature in my opinion other than that you also have your live caption which was available in the previous build as well so to access that you need to go into settings and sound and bam here it is you do have live caption but again as I mentioned earlier make sure you have updated all the applications from the Google Play Store when you install this pixel 4 ROM on your Poco F1 for the first time and before we end the video we can also press and hold the camera icon go into I go into advanced and here is the version which you have you do have version 7.2.018 gcam baked into this build and it works absolutely fine as for the benchmark scores here are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and as i always say do not bother about benchmark scores use your phone enjoy your device enjoy the pixel 4 rom on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you